I've dealt with anxiety and depression my whole life. This is a topic that I think I've been holding back. Uh, a lot of people have held back. And I've decided it's an area that I want to focus on. My goal in this area, social media, YouTube, whatever it may be, was to help people get fit, was to help people feel good about fashion, was to dress well. But the biggest thing that came back full circle for me was that I was having a hard time setting things up because I was dealing with anxiety and depression on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on an area where some days I couldn't make a piece of content because I just didn't have the drive there. So I thought, how can I be talking about these things to help these people if I can't help myself in another aspect? And then I did some searching online and I realized that, you know, there's a lot more people like me that have these issues, anxiety, depression, at certain levels, no matter what it may be, they felt something that held them back, that held them away from society, that made them not want to be who they thought they were. So I've decided to put my central focus on helping those while at the same time helping myself. Putting this out there, learning about me, learning about ways to stop this from happening, to combat it, to deal with it, to open up to others like you putting it out here right now will be therapeutic for myself. But at the same time, I hope I can help someone who doesn't think that they can talk about it, allow themselves to open up and give that grief and take that whatever they need and let, have a lending ear, someone there to help them listen or type or whatever it may be. I wanna be there for that some person. I've dealt with depression now for three years and my most recent bout has been due to my father's passing three months ago. He had Parkinson's disease for three years. Uh, we saw him slowly every week changing, every month drastically changing going from the man I knew he was to the person I never thought I'd see him to be, only at the age of 72. And actually it was cancer that took him away. Uh, his last four weeks went from hobbling around the house to not recognizing me or my family, to not being able to speak, to not being able to take care of himself. The final week we took him to the hospital and uh, within six days the cancer took him and uh, the last month and a half I'd say he wasn't responsive to pretty much anything we did or you could see that he was responsive but he just couldn't make his body do something to uh, show us that it, he was there and what he wanted and that was the hardest part having him see trying to do things but not being able to do it. Uh, so I was there, I was glad I was able to help, my family were able to help him, and we saw what was coming, but I actually did not know what was going to happen to me uh, mentally after he passed. Things were actually happening to me before he passed, I just put a big wall up to show I was strong and not let it affect me. But now that I've taken the time, I've realized that I wasn't dealing with it properly before. And I'm definitely not dealing with it properly now, but I'm trying daily to take the steps to make it happen. So I don't think I'm the only one out there. I know I'm not. And I know other people have deaths, have uh, significant others they've lost. Um, no matter what maybe it doesn't have to be death. It can be something about yourself, something about your family, friends, a job, whatever it may be, an animal. But we need to open up more. We need to talk about it more. So I want to make this platform about that. This isn't just gonna be going out there and telling all the negative things that I feel. This is me going out there and getting over the speed bumps that I have daily. Um, getting over hurdles so I feel more positive in my life and able to take on bigger things. The more bigger things you can take on on a daily basis, the more confidence you have. The more confidence you have, the better you feel about yourself. And so on and so forth. Luckily, fitness and fashion and feeling good about yourself fit into these categories. So I'm going to still be talking about them, but they're going to be based on how they can make someone better, like you and like me. So I hope you guys stick around. I appreciate you listening to me on this. Um, I'd love if you hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be having more stuff coming up on how to take care of depression, how to deal with it if it does come up, certain ways we can fight it.
and then showing the positive things in life. And when you do beat it, what great things can happen to you and happen to me. So please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button. Comment below, comment below something. If you feel depression, let me know. Or anxiety, no matter how big or small it may be. Perhaps tell me why you feel it, what you think it is, and we can talk about it. I'm definitely not a professional. I haven't gone to school for this, so please just take it a little bit word for word of what I have to say about how I've dealt with things, and maybe you can include that in your life to help you, but figure out what's best for you. All right, I'll be back with soon. Give you guys some, hopefully, some helpful tips to help you in this area. Once again, thank you very much. Have a good day.